Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sharnice and welcome to Simply Me Club. Today I have an exciting new type of like romance book style to talk to you guys about that comes out today and I'm so excited about this one. Like this one was juicy y'all, juicy. So I can't wait to tell you more about this book. So sit back, relax, and continue watching. But if you're new here and love book reviews and love book talk, how about go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I do all kinds of new release books that you don't want to miss out on. And go ahead and give this video a like sometime throughout this video. But other than that, let's get started with this video. And I can't wait so we can break about the Within this video, I'm going to tell you about a new author that I haven't done on this channel and a new book that I'm so like addicted to right now. Like it's it's addicting, okay? So the book and the author that I'm going to tell you guys about, it is called The Recluse Heir and it's by Monique Moreau. Hopefully I'm saying all that right. This is Monique's Le Poo Chronicle Dark Romanian Mafia Romance Series. So this is book number two, not number one, but it's good that this book was a standalone novel. So I was able to read this book before book number one. Now I can go back and read book number one. So within the Le Poo Chronicles, like the main books, there's going to be three. And the first one that I haven't read yet, that I'm totally going to read now so you get more of the background story and the other like two main characters in those story, that book was called The Chosen Heir. The two main characters in that novel was Alex and Nina. And then the second one right now that's out today called The Recluse Heir, which the two main characters that I'm going to tell you more about in a minute is with Luca and Kat. And the third book that's coming out soon is called The Savage Heir with Nisu and Jewel. So I'm really excited for the next one. So that's enough of that. But let's go ahead and tell you more about this book today that comes out today. So let's talk about the two main characters within this novel and at the same time what the book is about. So the two main characters are Luca and Kat, or Catalina, but within this book was Kat for short. So Luca is considered the black sheep, the rule breaker, the bad boy of the family, and is the second son within the Lupu family. He hated the idea of his family's tradition of an arranged marriage, especially with their rival clan mafia princess, Kat, and I'm gonna mess up her last name, Pop is Papasu. So he hated it so much that he passed her on to his younger brother, Nisu. But the moment he set eyes on her at Nisu and Kat's engagement party, he regretted giving her away to him and decided from that day on that Kat was his. Mm. Yes! So Kat, she is the mafia princess of the P Pasu family. She desires her education. It's very important to her, even though her family thought it was a very pointless thing to do, like rude. But Kat will do anything for her family, even accepting marrying the ruthless mafia prince Nisu after Luca declined her. She felt that it was the least she can do for her family since she'd been away at school and she felt that was the least that she can do. But at the engagement party, she was introduced to her fiance's brother, Luca, and the ship was sailed there. And Kat wanted Luca so much. You just gotta read just to know how much Kat wanted him. Like it was... It was so good from the beginning. So yeah, it's very addicting to read. So some other little things, important things that us readers should know about this book that you should need to know. Like I said before, it was a standalone novel. So if you start reading this book like I did, it's okay because you're going to get the beginning, middle, and end of Luca and Kat's story. And then like the first book is a whole nother type of story, but within the same family. So you won't miss out on any information. Within this book, The Recluse Heir, it's both in Luca and Kat's point of view. I love that so much because you get the full picture of the, all aspects of the story. But the, it's not like the chapters were labeled like Luca and Kat. So you didn't know who was talking at the beginning until you get to reading the chapter, but that's fine. Just something you should know. And it's out today, like I've been saying. And something very good to mention. It is a dark mafia romance. 
So keep that very much in mind. So it's gonna have some shocking, harsh moments, you know, like, cause it's a mafia, they're all in a mafia. So it's gonna have those harsh kind of moments, but it wasn't really a lot of them. But it's gonna have that in the book and talk about it in the book. And it's gonna have the romance in the book. And this romance was like level 10, level 10 romance. And it's really, really good. You're gonna be addicted to it. I'm sorry, but you are. Keep that in mind, it's very delicious and it's gonna be just wait and see. Just wait, read it and wait and see, okay? So, also, I had the Kindle version. So, for the Kindle version, there was 29 chapters with an epilogue of their story. So, 30 chapters. But there was also a second epilogue. And it was in Nisu's point of view to introduce, really, the third book. And to, for us readers to allow to see how Nisu and Jewel kind of, like, met and introduced to each other. And let me tell you, they were electrified and their connection was electrifying as well and I can't wait to read the third one I bet that one's is even just as good so yes I totally 100% recommend you guys to read this book to get this book and you're gonna love it especially like these type of books it's it's a it's very spicy very very good romance so definitely pick up this book today thank you so much for watching this video and let me introduce you to a new author a new book a nice spicy dark mafia romance book and i hope you pick up this book give a like down below if you do and as well Thank you so much for watching this video and I have a great day and I catch you back next week and maybe even again this week with another video. I have another like cool sewing video. If you're interested, subscribe so you won't miss out. But other than that, I catch you back later. Bye.